Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Anson Memorial for the launch of her story, photography exhibition that recognises Australia's military women. My name is Caroline Magnus, and I'm the director in the New South Wales Office for Veterans Affairs, and I'm also the honorary secretary for the trustees of the Anzac Memorial, this beautiful place. I'd like to begin by acknowledging the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation as the traditional custodians of the land on which we gather today for this wonderful event. Thank you, Caroline, and good afternoon. Good afternoon. I begin by acknowledging the Gadigal people and the Eora Nation as traditional custodians of the land on which we gather today, and welcome you and today for this wonderful event. I also welcome Sabrina Cosgrove, Jeff O'Brien, State Secretary of the RSL, Queen Dunbar, President War Widows, Victoria Benz, Deputy Commissioner, New South Wales ACT Department of Veterans Affairs, trustees of the ANZAC Memorial, current serving members of the ODF, and our veterans and their families who are with us at this wonderful event this afternoon. Carla Edwards, the exhibition's creator and photojournalist, and all women who feature in the exhibition, we thank you for your service and your generous cooperation with Carla's project. I also wish to appropriately acknowledge the life, service and passing of Veronica Cameron. Carla has collected a remarkable series of stories ranging from some of Australia's oldest service women veterans who served in Australia's home front and auxiliary services in the 1940s through to women who were actively deployed overseas in the 1990s. Small fragments of Carla's interviews with the service women are displayed here alongside their photos or the photos of veterans and transcripts of the full interviews are available on the New South, the New South Wales Memorial's website and I really do encourage you to read those stories. Carla, I on behalf of us all thank you for the dedication to honour the service of our women veterans, giving each the time and space to tell their story and to recreate these distinctive portraits. The photographic record and interview will enable the veterans' legacy to pass down to future generations and help ensure that their efforts are never forgotten. To our women veterans, on behalf of the New South Wales Government, I sincerely thank you again for your service, both in the service of Australia and nation, but also in the service of advancing women's status within Australia's defence forces. I have a problem that if I'm looking at you, I can't see you with glasses on, but I can see what I'm leaving here. So please excuse me, I'll try not to go up and down all the time. Good afternoon, Michael. Good afternoon, Sophia Cosgrove. Welcome and welcome, distinguished guests. To the women I've photographed and interviewed, their families and friends, welcome to your day. What to say in three minutes? Let me start with a heartfelt thank you to everyone present here today. Simply by your attendance, you're showing the women I've photographed and spoken to their efforts to help keep Australia safe have not gone unnoticed. Actually, if you think about it, your attendance here today is in support of all women, whether they be veterans or still serving. I am a first generation Australian. I'm not from the Defence Service. As a young woman, I occasionally heard about hardships my maternal family was dealt with whilst they lived in Nijmegen 
the Holland or the Netherlands. And they lived close to the Nile Bridge, and there was this big fight for liberation. That's all I heard, apart from other stories of um, prisoners of war. I'm forever grateful to live in a country that I consider safe. Realising there's a disparity of images, stories and information regarding Australia's military women, I decided to focus a short workshop space to photographing and interviewing Central Coast ex-service women. Out of little things, big things grow. What began as a small personal project in November 22, with seven women on the wall, has grown exponentially mainly by word of mouth and the odd people of Warrior. And a couple of them are here in the room. Thank you. Twice in six months, I've been asked whether I'd consider other photographic projects dealing with families left behind when in their, their partner is enlisted or deployed or, more tragically, died. I've said I can only do one focus at a time. I recall my first journalistic piece, circa 1984, trying to give insight on how blind Karishma copes with everyday life. Forty years later, my modus operandi hasn't changed. Only the scope and outcomes are much larger. I cannot stress the importance of women, particularly older than 30, existing in photographs, but I love adding the extra layer of their voice. I have a dream. No, I don't have a dream. <laughs> no, it's actually just gold singing. And this exhibition is another step to increasing national recognition for our service women. I've made a commitment to those I've emailed, texted and spoken with that I'll work diligently to have the images and stories in as many public spaces as possible to educate people like me but most importantly, provide a platform for any ex-service woman to be included uncensored. I have no hidden agenda. I'm WYSIWYG. Does anyone know what WYSIWYG is? WYSIWYG is what you get. Excellent. Those oldies that know what it is. Today, Anzac Memorial, Hyde Park, Sydney. Next week, I'll re-enter discussions for the Brisbane Exhibition Head for November. In two weeks, I'll be back in Melbourne looking for a space and contacting places in Adelaide and Hobart. Queensland State Library has asked if I'd consider the Queensland women to be held in their collection. I ask you, should I say yes? <laughs> I'm not a small thinker, but have grand plans. Often laughed at, but there's hardly a goal I've not achieved. My penultimate goal is to have this body of work in the Australian War Memorial in Canberra. So when our youth come to visit, they are educated in the role women have played in protecting the society they are privileged to live in. Imagine this. These women's children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, their friends and families going down to Canberra and not only being able to read their story, but to hear their voice. Not included in this exhibition or this data are the audio files of everyone's interviews that I've made. That's still to come. So Canberra may have that opportunity to have it with their exhibition. To me, ladies and gentlemen, having that opportunity of hearing the voice of the grandparent or the friend or the family is goosebump worthy. But I cannot do it alone. I call upon everyone present here today to help this become a reality. I believe in six degrees of separation. Let's work collectively, talk and lobby about this project. It was a conversation that brought this collection into being here at Anzac Memorial. Thank you. I have a ton of other thank yous. And if I make individual recognition, I'm bound to leave some out. So I'm going to go generic. To all my portrait subjects sitting here, or those who will be watching this once I put it onto the website afterwards, they'll all have a link. I say thank you. Thank you for your trust 
and confidence, love, gratitude, laughs and tears. Believe me when I say I'm the one who is honoured. Donors, fiscal, to the not-for-profit set up and still to be used, but more tangible donations. Thank you for your generosity. To the executive committee assisting today, my team, thank you. To other friends and family of the women included, thank you. Look at what we've done by collaboration. Next step, funding to engage a team to continue these credible projects, please. In conclusion, I would like to thank the staff of New South Wales Office for Veteran Affairs and the Anzac Memorial for the part we've played in bringing this exhibition to fruition. I thank you all and would really love to see you in Canberra for the great unveiling. <laughs> now, wonderful brave women, friends, family, go to cover, have a chat and enjoy your lunch. This is your time to shine. Yeah. <laughs> service in the Navy was mainly reserve service between the Navy and the Army. From the moment that Carla approached me with the idea of her project, I couldn't have been more interested. During my 46 years of defence service, I saw many changes for females in both the Army and the Navy, but what was most common until recently was a focus on the male side of service. As Secretary of Gosford Arisville Subbridge, my first approach was to contact our members to try and get some ex-service women interested in the project. After this, I contacted the Secretary of the Central Coast District Council of RSL sub-branches to get the word, word out to the other nine sub-branches so the project could get started. I am grateful that I've had the opportunity to support Carla with her endeavours. I thought I'd miss my turn for, for my photo to be taken, and I had mixed emotions as I'm not the best person to have photos taken of. <laughs> It turned out that the date had been changed to a later time, so I was able to meet up with Carla and a display of the other portraits at a venue in Moimoy. I'm sure that the other ladies that were photographed would agree with me that you couldn't ask for a better person to photograph you. Carla made you feel very relaxed and important, and there were many laughs, especially when she suggested that you say, undies to help you smile. <laughs> After the photo shoot, NBN TV did an article on the project, and I'm pretty sure this helped the project grow. Carla has been amazing with her enthusiasm and drive to make the project a success. I'm sure that some of the ladies could fill a book with their stories and experiences. And this is a project, this, and this project is just the beginning. Thank you. I'd just like to conclude by saying how really pleased we are that this is up now, ahead of International Women's Day this year and in our 90th year of the Anzac Memorial. I would like to do a special call out because I think it's fantastic to reach 100 and we've got two centenarians here today with us, Rita Anderson and Joy Harvey. And close behind, 99 and not out, <laughs> my grandman, is Valerie Island, who's having her photograph taken next week. So a special um, acknowledgement for the effort of getting here today. To have World War II um, service represented here is, is just really wonderful. So thank you all. So on that 
note, um, thank you again for your service. Thank you to the families for being here and for the support you give to our veterans. And um, please continue to enjoy being here and a cup of tea and coffee and refreshments. Thank you.